Hello internet. Testing without the mic. Testing without the mic. Testing with the mic. Testing with the mic. Elsa just left to go into town. So the first thing that I always do whenever Elsa leaves to go to town is clean up the scamp because if she is here, I can't keep up with her explosions. Here's the scamp in its current state with crap everywhere. Anybody want a strawberry rhubarb pie? Elsa's sensei came over and brought half of one that he couldn't eat for us. Thanks, Randy. You're so thoughtful. Whenever I clean the floor, I always move all the pieces into one big group just so that I can notice all of my accomplishments. Do you do this too when you sweep things? I feel like it's a natural thing. It's always helped me to have a clean space, especially if I'm gonna like write or do things that take a lot of mental focus. If I have like everything clean, it makes my brain feel clean too. The bench is clean, the counter's clean, and the bed is made-ish. I'm gonna make some cacao and dandelion coffee mix. We're gonna put in some cayenne and coconut oil. Hop in, Bubba. Oh, yeah, that's good, huh? Oh, come on, you can eat it. I also went to town and took the water jugs to fill them up, but we have like no water left. So I might have to have a beer pretty early in the day um, for survival. All right, so we got our boiled water. We're gonna put it all in here. Mm, we had a little coffee from yesterday. And that's going into the mix too. First, a little bit of cacao. This is Firefly Cacao. This brand is awesome. It has actual cacao butter in it, so it's not just like cacao powder. It's good stuff. I'm gonna put a couple little chips in there. Some dandelion root blend. If you've never had dandelion root, it tastes like coffee, but it doesn't have any caffeine in it. If you're like trying to get off caffeine and want your coffee hit, this will do it for you. Boom. And a little bit of cayenne. Did you notice that, Elsa? As soon as I was done with the cayenne, I put it back where it goes. I put a decent chunk, probably not that big, of coconut oil in there because it's good fat. Makes the body and mind feel good. Now we'll stir all that up. Not careful enough. Give it a little shake. Delicious. I gotta show you our chillin' slash workspace here. So we have these two beautiful trees that make this little dome. And there's our wee boost. So we've been using it to get out of the sun. And this has been our little living room. Subaru sent us a new bench, which is excellent. Camp is chillin' on the crash bed. So I'm working on my book in iBooks Author which is an authoring software made by Apple and it's free. Writing a book is hard. <laughs> Everybody who's ever said or written one has said that, I think. But it's really a difficult task to work through all the things that I've learned in Nomad Life and then encapsulate those into chapters and figure out how to split them up and what goes first. Because in Nomad Life, there's like pragmatic things like how to cook, how to do this, how to make solar, how to do that, you know? But then there's also the mental and I think the mental is more important. So I want to lead with that, but I'm afraid that it will lose people because things like meditation and learning how to learn and frugality is freedom and those types of conceptual topics, I feel like won't be as interesting or as engaging as the more like how to sort of oriented topics. I'm trying to figure out how to put this whole thing together and it's coming together, but it's just hard. 
This is one of my first chapters, and it's called Leaving the Hive. And the first quote is from Krishna Murti. Is no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. Camp and I are both barefoot out here, and it's amazing to watch him walk because he never steps on any cacti. He stepped on cactus like twice ever, and it was when he was chasing rabbits and running in freedom mode. I occasionally step on like a loose cactus, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Elsa, I just found out that she picked up the Cubic Mini wood stove and our new BioLite headlamps, which will be amazing. I'm super stoked to check that stuff out. You notice he's off leash. He's getting much better at this. Elsa's is still not back, and I'm fresh out of water, so. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive out here in the wilderness. Shout out to Joe Bushcraft. Drinking beer and surviving, dude. Elsa's home. Look what she's got. So this will be the official unboxing. Wow, that's nice. So the battery, goes in the back of your head, unlike most of the lamps where the battery and the light are in the front. This, is this black diamond? Yeah. Headlamp and battery combined on the front of your head. And it's a really nice headlamp, but it also has replaceable AAA batteries. You can't charge it with micro USB. Whereas this guy, oh, can. oh yeah, look at that port. Also, when you turn it on, these lights will tell you how much battery you have left, just like the rest of their products. Oh, it's freaking Dang, bright. bright. <laughs> Ooh, dimmable too. Cool. Of course. Whoa, that tilt though. Dang, girl. That's <laughs> 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 super comfortable. <laughs> you can't get you. it off, huh? Where's the ad? It says that you can head bang. Give me a bang. <laughs> you got it. We're going to a real life friend's house. For a birthday party. Do you believe it? We have friends. <laughs> but look, there it is. Loading. <laughs> this is my homemade birthday present for Susan. I made her a headband and a matching scarf. As with everyone, I always like to give them stickers too. Just a mandolin. Yeah, I don't think the banjo is the best one. Every light is burning in the house across town. What is this? She's pacing by the telephone in her favorite flannel gown. Sorry. <laughs> Asking for a miracle. Hoping she's not right Praying it's the weather that's kept him out all night And the thunder rolls And the thunder rolls I don't know the chorus <laughs> So sorry I heard <laughs> I heard it. I heard it. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video of Baron. We're trying to get Baron more involved in the videos, so let us know what you think. I just completely changed my entire shipping situation for my wood stickers. I'm now offering tracking numbers and I'm shipping with rigid mailers. So just a slight change, but it's gonna be even better than it was before. If you wanna go check that out, that's elsaray.com. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.